boom, 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 boom. Alright, what's up, YouTube? So today I got um the top ten greatest rookie seasons of all time by Johnny Arnett. Hopefully, this video is not copyrighted. Let's get into it. <coughs> Oh man, look at Curry, man. Nice, bro. Whoop the Ryan ass, bro. Whoop the Ryan butt, bro. With a highly anticipated rookie making his way into the Mr. league, Wendy I figured now would be as good of a time as okay, ever to rank my 10 greatest rookie seasons this of all time. Okay, well, now before I get into the meat nice. of my list, nice. let me first explain how my list works. Just like the MVP award, they're, they're only birds. the regular season they're performances are factored in, meaning that what these players did or didn't do in the postseason will not ultimately affect their rankings on the list. Here's something else to remember. Although individual accomplishments and statistics will be factored in, it's also not the only major factor I'm considering. How the team improved after the addition of the rookie will be taken into Go account play. as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah. Number 10, Elvin Hayes. Interestingly enough, it was his teammate Wes Unseld who became one of the few players in NBA history to win the MVP award as a rookie. With that being said, I consider the Big E's rookie season to be even more impressive. As a member of the San Diego Rockets, the rookie Hayes improved his team by 22 wins over the previous mm. season, and during which he put up averages of 28.4 points, 17.1 rebounds, and 1.4 assists on 44.7% shooting. Despite the fact that it was his debut season, he was that year's scoring leader, and he was sixth overall in rebounds per game. Thanks to his immediate impact, he changed the Rockets from the literal worst team in the league to a playoff team in just one season. This wasn't just an all-time great rookie season, but from an individual standpoint, it was arguably the best season of Elvin Hayes' career. Number 9. Walt Bellamy Unjustifiably, he's often indirectly referred to as one of the plumbers of the Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Russell era. But in that's crazy. I literally just say he's a plumber. And he said he's a plumber. He said it. That's crazy. In reality, he's one of the great centers oh. of basketball history. Oh, As a member of the Chicago Packers, I Bellamy immediately took the leading role for his team while putting up monstrous averages of 31.6 points, 19 that, rebounds, oh, and 2.7 assists on 51.9% shooting. Well, As only a rookie, that, he was 7 well, assists it, on 51.9%. He was barely even contested, bro. Like, how do you even get a chance to do that? If I was playing back in day, bro, I would literally be averaging 50 points, bro. Literally, bro. These dudes are trash, but they're just tall. That's all they got. 9% shooting. As only a rookie, he was second overall in scoring, third overall in rebounding, and he was the best in the league in field goal percentage. Now, you could Ooh, argue that these it? were empty stats on a bad team. Exactly. And that isn't the worst argument, considering how his Packers had the worst record in the league at only 18 Ooh. and 62. With that being said, Chicago was an expansion team this year, and historically, in a team's first season of existence, it's usually a rough beginning regardless. Even with a losing What's season, Bellamy What's certainly that? deserves a spot on, on this list. Doing, Number 8. Tim Duncan. Oh, yeah, Tim Duncan. As one of the most He's consistent NBA superstars in NBA history, season. it comes as no surprise that Duncan's career got off to a great start as well, as he immediately established himself as one of the best big men Ooh. in the entire league. The 97-98 San Antonio Spurs had the second greatest turnaround in NBA history finishing with 36 wow. more wins than the previous season. And obviously, Tim Duncan was a major reason for that. It would be misleading to act like he was the only reason, as the other great big man, David Robinson, suffered a major injury in the previous season, which resulted in him playing in only six regular season games. Regardless, Duncan's immediate impact was felt as he averaged 21.1 points, 11.9 rebounds, 2.7 assists, and 2.5 blocks on a career-best 54.9% shooting from the field. Along with that, Duncan played all 82 games in his debut season, 
providing a stable force of consistency on both ends of the court. Number 7. Shaquille O'Neal The Diesel didn't waste any time before dominating the position. He wasn't completely the Shaq we would eventually come to know, as he was a slimmer and quicker version of himself with strength and athleticism similar to that of a prime Giannis. As a punishing force, Shaq improved the Magic's record by 20 wins over the previous season, and he filled up the stat sheet in the process. On the year, he put up numbers of 23.4 points, a career best 13.9 rebounds, 1.9 assists, and a career best 3.5 blocks on 56.2% shooting. He was 8th in the league in scoring, 2nd overall in rebounding, and 2nd overall in blocks per game. Shaq was entering an NBA jam-packed with incredible veteran centers, yet he was immediately outproducing the vast majority of them in a variety of ways, which in turn solidifies his rank. I wonder if Shaq was Jeffrey J, but not knowing, nobody knew that, like, okay, he's Shaq, you know what I'm saying, he can do, just know that he, he can, he's good in the paint, that's it, you know, like, knowing that he can't shoot, when he still get drafted, like, number one today, was he drafted number one? I think he was. Ranking on my list. Number 6, David Robinson. Since Robinson served in the Naval Academy before his NBA debut, he was actually a much older rookie relatively, starting out at the age of 24. With that being said, he certainly looked like a man amongst boys on most nights, as he was an absolute force on both ends of the court. He played all 82 games that season, and he posted averages of 24.3 points, 12 rebounds, 1.7 steals, and 3.9 blocks on 53.1% shooting. Immediately, the basketball world could see that Robinson was on his way to becoming one of the greatest defensive players of all time, as his 3.9 blocks per game is still the second highest average by a rookie in NBA history. He helped improve San Antonio by 35 wins over the previous season, quickly establishing themselves as a contender in the Western Conference. No matter how you look at it, Robinson was a beast as an NBA rookie. Number 5. Michael Jordan MJ's once-in-a-lifetime greatness could be seen basically as soon as he set foot on the court for the first time. He took the league by storm, displaying his elite athleticism as he averaged 28.2 points, 6.5 rebounds, 5.9 assists, and 2.4 steals on 51.5% shooting. League-wide, he finished third in scoring and fourth in steals, but for the Bulls specifically, his value was off the charts as he led his team at points, rebounds, assists, and steals. He's the only rookie in history who's ever done that. With Jordan at the wheel, the Bulls improved 11 wins over the previous season, and even Larry Bird said that he's never seen a player improve a team more than MJ did. It may not have- Man just did an in-game one-hand cradle dunk from the, from the free throw line on the list been the greatest season of his career, but it didn't need to be in order to be one of the greatest rookie campaigns of all time. Number 4, Larry Bird. If anyone ever questions Larry Bird's winning impact, well then they don't have to look any further than his rookie year. When Bird was drafted, the Celtics were coming off of a season where they had the second worst record in the entire league. With Bird being the only major acquisition in the offseason, he improved the Celtics by 32 wins, taking them from one of the bottom spots in the league to the best record in the NBA. On the year, Bird put up 21.3 points, 10.4 rebounds, 4.5 assists, and 1.7 steals on 47.4% shooting. He also shot 40.3% from three-point range, which was the third best efficiency in the entire league. He also led the Celtics in points, rebounds, and steals while playing all 82 games that wow, season. At the end of the day, there are very few players who have started stronger than Larry Legend did. Number 3. Oscar Robertson The Big O is known for his all-around offensive impact and for his triple-double average in the prime of his career. But what few people know is that he was roughly putting up these same numbers instantly upon his arrival in the league. 
As a 22-year-old, Oscar put up insane averages of 30.5 points, 10.1 rebounds, and 9.7 assists on 47.3% shooting. Oh, wow. Very, very few players have led the league in points and assists in the same season, but Oscar is the lone player to do it in his rookie season. He was also extremely efficient while doing it, as he finished 4th overall in field goal percentage, and he was 9th overall in free throw percentage. Thanks to this jaw-dropping production, he led all players that season in offensive win shares, as his Royals improved by 14 wins over the previous season. If a rookie did this in the modern NBA, social media would absolutely explode, and everyone would be calling him the greatest player of all time. In reality, it was just another great season in a career's worth of great seasons from Oscar Robertson. Number 2. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at the time, this incredible center was known by the name Lou Alcindor, but out of respect, I'll refer to him as Kareem. In his first season, he played all 82 games, and he was immediately an unstoppable force on offense, as the rest of the league quickly discovered that they had no answers for the sky hook shot. On the season, Kareem averaged 28.8 points, 14.5 rebounds, and 4.1 assists on 51.8% shooting. It's also safe to assume that he was an elite shot blocker at that time, considering how he averaged 3.5 blocks in the seven seasons after they started tracking the statistic. Kareem wasn't just a great stat sheet stuffer, but he was lighter fluid for the Milwaukee Bucks franchise as he made them instant contenders in the Eastern Conference, improving the team by 29 wins over the previous season. He even finished third overall in the MVP race, as he was already establishing himself as the best center in the NBA. Here is my list of honorable mentions. Should any of these players have made it into the top 10? Let me know in the comments below. Number 1. Will Chamberlain This top selection should really come as no surprise, as Wilt's debut shook the basketball world while making people reevaluate what they thought was possible. The Big Dipper immediately dominated the game like no rookie has before or since, as he put up averages of 37.6 points, 27 rebounds, and 2.3 assists on 46.1% shooting. In the history of the game, no other player has averaged over 37 points per game over the course of a season. Also, no other player has averaged 27 rebounds per game over the course of a season. Wilt did both of these things in the same season as a rookie. If that doesn't blow your mind, then you're not truly grasping it. Wilt also led the league in most major advanced stats, like win shares and player efficiency rating. He improved his Philadelphia Warriors by 17 wins over the previous season, and he improved his Philadelphia... This man had a wide open layup. The award. Instead of putting it up, he gave it to Will to dunk it. He had a wide open. He just said, I'm going to give it to Will. Years. That's their whole game plan to give it to Will. It's crazy. By 17 wins over the previous season. And he was he rewarded with that it. season's MVP. And the voting results were not even close. This is the ultimate bar for a rookie season. And I assume that it will stay that way for a very, very long time. So what do you guys think? What is the most impressive rookie season that you've witnessed? Yeah, what is the most I look forward to season? hearing your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball. Like and subscribe for, for more basketball reactions. Peace.